So recently we showed what a day in the life of our logistics corps, call sign Jackals, is like when salvaging in service of the Orc Bank. But this is not the only activity covered by logistics in the Skunkworks Org. Indeed, we paint with a broad brush that includes everything from mining to piracy. And with Jump Town up and running again, we were heading in with the goal of stealing a few ships, hopefully loaded with drugs. Things would begin there, and there would be a shift as the night went on, but as we descended to Yala aboard the Terrapin, we had no idea what kind of situation we'd be dropping into at Jump Town. Jackals are like, we're like, multi-disciplined, right? You know, you gotta be good at a bunch of things. At least mediocre. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna lay down. Hey, uh, I'm down. <laughs> I'd pass on advice from stealth dropping into Jump Town many times. What you want to do, let's see, is fly to like own five. Don't be lying for jump town. Go off of like the main axis and then come in from a different angle. I'm already only 180 away. And of course, there were a lot of good things to say about the Terrapin. Signature looks pretty low. It's like 4,000. Yeah. The good thing about Terrapin is it's got enough hull, you know, so that if you turn shields off, you're still pretty well protected. How much hull is the guy? A, a lot. <laughs> like, Holy It's not sold as a stealth ship, but it totally is. As we entered the atmosphere, we needed to be prepared to bail if things got ugly. Everyone in the back, be ready to jump just in case there is some massive crazy attack on. How close do you want me to get? As close as you, literally as close as you can, essentially. If you get picked up, let us jump and then fly off like you were spooked. And as we drop below 20 kilometers, we'd start picking up ships on radar over Jump Town. Probably not. 15 kilometers then. Probably on 40 out. Five kilometers would be ideal. Um, Two bogeys, three bogeys. Oh, yeah, there, there was someone holding Jump Town. We made it to the ground four kilometers away from Jump Town, but a ship had been alerted to the Terrapin. Going up. Hey, let's move up and get eyes on. I'm gonna try and disappear. Oh, yep, there's a ship overhead. Stay still, guys, stay still. It's looking down at the ground. Maybe it sees us, maybe it doesn't. The weather closed in at the exact right moment, basically. That was an extremely quick drop. I don't think he knows how to triangulate you. You see the movement up there? Negative. Okay, I think we're good. But Chief had been incapped by his ship while exiting. Chief, what's your status? Uh, stand by. Just a second. Uh, incapacitated. On the ground or in the ship? On the ground. Well, you're only 2k from me. I was going to run ahead of the group to reach Chief. I'm hearing... Did I just hear a ship engine? I think I did. Yeah, they're overhead now. Oh, there was some fire. Oh, no, ship just Ooh. exploded. And is no, that ship gonna crash? That ship's gonna crash. There's another one here. Yep. Is it looking for us or is it just. Another fire? ship, I got a ladder. Good work, guys. Well done getting down there. I was still out ahead of our main group and there seemed to be activity at the outpost. Herds make the torpedo firing. Where I'm at is a straight drop down, which is. Oh, there's an explosion at Jump Town. Okay, it's a dream. Pisces? Pisces coming in. And something else. Cutlass. Cutlass coming in on the outpost. Pisces did a flyby and then disappeared. It was hard to see what was going on on the ground already, but the Cutlass could very well be heading in to fill up on drugs. There was something happening at Jump Town now. Oh, it exploded. It's still flying. It's still flying. It I guess it blew something up on the ground. For everyone on the ground, they are probably loading the cutlass black. I only have a four scope. Is that a grab stop and grab a sniper? Hold comms. Just hold comms. Being quite new to piracy, it is difficult to judge the timing of when to strike. On the one hand, if you strike too early, the ship doesn't have a lot of cargo. But if you wait too long, they may just take off without you. Okay, that cutlass is landed. They are moving boxes in, okay. They are moving boxes in right now. 
Okay, I'm pushing him. I'm pushing on the cut this down. Oh, there's a Connie as well. There was definitely something on board and while the comrade was up, I wanted to get our first match of the day. I had no idea how many players were involved or where they were. See a player on the ground? Hit him a bunch, I'm not sure if he's down now. Another player. Okay, I got played down. Moving on the ship. There was some cargo on board, and I was being shot at outside by a gallant, I think, so I needed to get airborne quickly. Come on, okay. Away. Got the ship. Damn, that was exciting. So we need to jump to empty space so we can move whatever cargo they happen to have. This Cutlass was not handling normally, however. Wait, what the hell's going on with the ship? Oh, is the ship But I was able to jump, and with the rest of the Jackal team still at Jump Town, I'd update them on the situation I'd left behind. There is a player down outside Jump Town. I didn't kill him, but um, he's down. I was jumping out into the deep black away from Pomeroy coverage to rendezvous with Blitzy, who was now aboard his signature Corsair. It was time to inspect the hall. Did you like to hide underneath the airlock and book it in there? No, I didn't actually, because I was coming in from the outside. Oh, there's not much in here. There's like, <laughs> it's like one, two, three. There's like five parcels in here. Hey, that's still a hundred k. This body, you've got to get rid of it because uh, it'll have a marker. Oh, yeah. I dumped the body and jumped a little again, and then Cygnus had an idea about the cutlass. Can you unlock the ship's ports? I actually, I can. Yeah, I can. <laughs> We'd be taking 100k worth of drugs, but also all of these weapons in the back and the weapons from the ship. And let's not forget about the Connie back at Jump Town. If anyone is still on the ground, there was a, an Andromeda on the ground as well. I think I took out the, the owner, so there might be stuff in that as well. The Andromeda down there might also have drugs in it. Yeah, I see a player down there underneath the gun on foot, and they are loaded. Take them out and steal the ship, that'd be amazing. And Blitzy finally made it to me. Wait, oh, it's you, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> I just hit a ship, <laughs> and then you buzzed past, oh my god, you're going fast. I guess we take the guns. The guns inside are badges and panthers, and missiles, like none of these are really worth anything, but the drugs are worth something. Okay, sending him over. You want, you want the guns, yeah? Make the extra money, I suppose. We can steal everything. We're pirates, right? There are two really weird looking guns back here. Uh, Quarrela cannon, size 3, maybe, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Probably not, size 3 weapon, doubt it, but yeah, check it over. Yeah, the ports are unlocked, so, you know, you get, everything should be available to be grabbed. After removing the guns from the cutlass, it was time to head aboard Blitzy's Corsair and be taken back towards Crusader. Just remember, I've got a crime stat 3. The crime stat would put us at risk of bounty hunters coming to pursue. Chief and Cygnus were about to make a move for the Connie at Jump Town. Alright Cygnus, I see two contacts on the ground at the outer door moving drugs right now. They are loading the Connie. Uh, hey, if you want, I can bring you straight in and then book it away. I mean, hey, if you want to, yeah, that's fine. I'm, I've got a problem with that. <laughs> One down. Good work, Chief. Good work. Second one down. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I want to run down and grab that ship. As I was arriving back at Jump Town, Chief and Cygnus had cleared out the players and were ready to take the Connie. Go ahead. Roger, jumping out. I think I see TD'd. Yep. Oh. I jumped out, but I see TD'd. Oh, I see you right there. You should be able to get back in if you're quick. You got the ship? Yes. Good. I see Crimson, yeah. Crimson's just standing there in the open. I'll, I'll keep lining. Alright, Roger. I'm heading to Selenon. What you want to do, um, Cygnus? 
pick a location, like, you know, one of the, um, the grange points or something, just fly out and just drop in the middle of, like, dead space. Yeah, uh, Chief's flying, I'm gonna... Guns. Good work, guys. Good work. Once you get to Dead Space, let me know. I'll come into the close and pick up the drugs and sell it. How much you got on board, by the way? Uh, looks like about 20. That's a much better haul. Damn, you guys are good. <laughs> There's a right contact up there. I'd watch over Crimson as he loaded back in following a crash to desktop. I'm still loading. And in chat, we'd spot a comment directed our way. Don't touch the intrometer and you get half of it. Dudes, we got all of it. <laughs> None of us had been inside yet though, and of course this begged the question, were there people still here? Could be people inside, there might not be people inside, we don't know. And obviously our goal here is not to take the outpost, just to steal the ships. I do have a uh, crime three. Chief and Cygnus now also had crime stat 3, and well, being outdoors like this with a bounty on you leaves you vulnerable to bomb and missile attacks. I'm gonna push inside. Okay, the guns sold for about 10k, all of them. Okay. The ones we grabbed. Inside, you get protection from attacks from the air, but before getting comfortable, I need to sweep the place for players. Who's in the Connie right now? Uh, Sickness and Chief. Roger, jumping to you guys. I think the outpost is clear. We could, I I'm only in here because, like, while it's just me and you here, and I've got a crime slot three. Like, being outside, because I've got a marker on me, is just asking to just be, yeah, just like killed by any two, killed by a missile, killed by a sniper, you know. At this point, Blitzy was at the Connie and helping to pull drugs aboard his Corsair. And a much bigger haul, too. I didn't have anything else to do right now, and so pulling drugs just seemed productive. Can you add landing lights on the Seeing as I'm just stuck in here waiting, I am going to start pulling some drugs. Like, having a big pile of drugs for the next person to come along to load up with would save us time with, oh, with stealing no, their let, ship. Let him load the <laughs> Steal his ship after he loads the truck. Come on, then, like, how, how genius would that be if we can pull that off? Is it not suspicious? You go to JT, no one is there to shoot you, and there's a pile of drugs sitting on the floor. Once I moved back outside though, I'd open chat to see a message directed my way and someone really exemplifying a good attitude to have while playing an event like Jump Town. I've left two piles of drugs. The message was from the owner of the cutlass I'd stolen and they alluded to having some bad luck on top of being robbed. I was interested in hearing more. Turns out they had stolen a ship themselves to escape Yela, but had been impounded and given crime stats themselves when reaching a station. I sent a reply back offering condolences and decided then that I'd send some credits to this guy because it was nice to chat with someone but knew this was just part of the game. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, but PvP is not a personal attack, it is just a playstyle. It's cheap, the illegal mission. That work, work. What's the dude's name? Is it the real Kenobi? Yeah, yeah. the real Kenobi. Send him some money. Oh wait, was the cutlass his ship? Yes, yeah, and you know what, like when someone's like just chatting about SC when they've just been, you know, robbed, I feel like that's that's worthy of a little It's all in good fun. No, no malice intention. The server was getting quiet here though, and so we decided to just load up the drugs we pulled to sell and move on to a fresh server where maybe there would be ships already on the ground to be hijacked. Total we've made is 560,000. So Whoa! Okay, that's not bad at all. I 
they're gonna be at two earlocks. I'm sorry, but you know it's added complication. Ah, it's fine. I'll talk to you. You good to do that? There we go. There you go. There would be drugs to grab from the opposite airlock, but soon we'd be ready to head back to Grim Hex. By the way, it's a good opportunity to pick by like supplies while we're here. And once on the next server, we'd insert to the ground all over again and move in. Finding a good approach direction, we'd start pushing towards Jump Town. Okay, I'm gonna cross um, Darth and Crimson. Come with me, Chief and Alpaca. Stay back here just in case we get attacked and you guys need to support. Copy. Chief and Alpaca move to the next ridge. Better eyes for now as we push down. We're always weary of snipers around Jump Town, but with silenced weapons, it is much safer to take shots at potential targets. We've got silencers here. You guys want to snipe, and I'll push up and yes. see if I could draw anybody out. Okay, sounds like a good, sounds like a plan. I love being the bait. There's a nice yeah, set yeah, of rock right coming. up here. Ship incoming? Player's ship incoming. Okay. Aegis Gladius, the five star, approaching rapidly. He just dropped noise. He's flying around my terrapin right now. Yep. <laughs> I, see him. I see him. I'm in the rocks ahead of me. You got a railgun, I'll bait him over. Don't have a no, railgun, unfortunately. unfortunately not. He's here. coming in. Yep. Seen? He's flying over me right now. I've got oh. one on board. But Arathorn on the ground with us did have a railgun. One hit. Effective. Oh, good, good. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool, yep. Look, Get him off the you got this. No, he's flying, he's bailing. Yeah, him. he's taking off. <laughs> yeah. He's oh, Let's see, come down to me. I can I can get him. Where, where is me? Who is it? Uh, Arathorn. I'm right above, or right below Roger, you on the ground. Roger. So, the plan here was for Blitzy to fly low and slow, so Arathorn could land easier hits on the enemy Gladius. He's coming over to me. Yep, he's looking at the ground right now for the station. Uh, he's not Good hits. Yeah. <laughs> Reloading. Get low down by uh, Arathorn. Roger, getting low to Arathorn. Okay. Alright, Arathorn. You got this. All on you. You gotta come in a little lower. There we go. Good. I'll get him. Woo, I saw that so shot. Blitzy was trying to take on a Gladius with a Terrapin as Arathorn below fired out railgun shots at the Gladius overhead. He's moving too fast for the railgun. The fight above was not completely one-sided. <laughs> oh god. Oh. It's it crazy hit. watching this from the ground. Shit. It's amazing. But the Terrapin was cave first. Arathorn, I'm gonna try to make it. Oh! Oh, he stopped after it. It wasn't even red on the hull. Blitzy was still alive though. Get out quick. Trying to. Yep, I got another hit on him. Okay, cool. I'm. Yeah, he's too far away. Oh, yep. Oh, I got end capped, but I my, my body flung out. Okay, good. If you survive, I'll make it to you and revive you. The AO. Oh, I, I'm back over you guys. Yeah, I land on the ground. I'm alive. 
He was attacking uh, chiefs. Okay. Type. Blitzy, I'm pushing towards you oh, now. Thank God, there's some cloud cover. I was heading for Blitzy, but needed to ensure that I was not spotted. If he dismounts, one of you take him out with the sniper. He just blasted he really off. I don't know if I'll let you know who. Blitzy, could we get that? heading. Yeah, try, try to keep him there. He's attacking a ship out past the tactical. Okay. The weather's bad. Passing over Darth now. Where are he's, at? he's going to the Corsair, it looks like. Alright, I'm gonna try to run to the debris there. As soon as you meet, as soon as you blitz him, just trying to see if he's okay. Oh, I see him. Okay. Good work, Garrison. Yeah, keep those shots up. He's gonna slow down. That he thinks it's safe. Like right now. Oh my God, he's stationary. Can you see him, Garrison? Yep, I got one hit. Yeah, good, good hit. hit. He moved good though. Hit. Okay, push into Blitzy. Let me know yeah. if he starts coming back our direction. Cause I'm in motion. He's looking. Yeah. I'm almost to the debris. He's looking. But as I got close to Blitzy, some good news. Oh, got him. Yeah! yeah. Good work, Arathorn. Go. Outstanding. Kick ass. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, Blitzy. I, I call that a win. Days. Yes. I'm not fully dead. I only lost a Terrapin. There you I go. Yeah, he, he stopped at my ship, so I uh, got the threat death. Hey, Arathorn, that would be great. Real good. I just saw a hammerhead. All right, you got it. <laughs> there was nothing on the ground on this server either, so we'd push inside to check it was clear. The plan was to take one load of drugs and move on again, but the dude we'd taken out in the blue Gladius, well, he would be back. Blazer, I see your head. Hiding spots on this clear. side are clear. I think we're clear. I think it's clear. So on the other server, there was an invisible wall on not this joke room, but the other joke room. I'm gonna test that actually, see if it's the same here. Were there any humans in it? No. Yeah, okay. check this out, okay? So there is an it on this side. On this side there is a barrier to stop the drugs going through, but it is not on the other side, so it's like it's almost like this airlock here is the main airlock. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but on, so it flips over. Uh, I can't pronounce that. We need something for a little bit more of the range. The airlock here was quickly filling up, but like I said, we'd have another run in with our friend from the Blue Gladius. Oh, I killing missiles. Oh, yeah, I heard yeah. that. The first few incursions were handled in the air quite well by Blitzy and Crimson. It was time to send this load, so getting them out of the airlock to the other side was the next move. But then the Gladius guy started trying to land. What? Aurora? Okay. Aurora? You MR. Oh, okay. I mean, maybe take that on. I don't know. Maybe go kill that before we start loading. Uh, he's landing. He's out. He's landing. Flying over. I see exactly where he is. I'm gonna go mark him for you all. Okay. Unfortunately, the guy had tried to land too close and had been picked up by radar. For those who have not played Jump Town on the ground, this is why we pick ships with those signatures and land further away from the outpost. Down. Down. <laughs> uh, no, he's moving. I think he's still moving. That's what Darth Terrapin. And Arathorn, if you hold the door open, yeah, I'll just throw them through. The dude was determined, though, and would keep coming back. If you think he might be trying to ram, you might want to move. I, I will get out of the way. He can't, he'll never manage. I'm, I'm, I'm meeting him first. Yeah. I'm on the Buccaneer. Good hits, good hits. I've dropped his shields. I've, I've chopped off his wing. One of his wings I got. Okay. I see him, I see him. Good work, Blitzy. Goddamn, good work. He is good leaving. Work. He is not happy. And I'd make a discovery on a body outside Jump Town. No luck involved. Exactly. Oh my god, who's... There's a body on the ground here. There's a body on the ground. Now I've got a railgun. For me, towards Now I've got a railgun. <laughs> Some of these attempts by the Blue Gladius guy were more strategic. Is that five star going over us or is that different? That is a torpedo. Uh, what the hell? Yeah. A torp just hit. Whoa. Oh, what? We should have a torp at Something, jump time. Something, yeah. 
Yeah, Let's hope. knock me over. Coming back to JT. Let's hope. On my oh, it's coming back, it's coming back. 11 commas, 10 commas. Slow down, slow down. Yeah, I'm, I'm engaging him right now. Loading. He's climbing, he's really climbing. And some of these attempts were just very brazen. You have a canopy coming in. It's, it's a... means he's, cause he canopy's coming in, canopy's coming in. Getting close. Standing at jump turn right now. Yeah, yeah. Help this yeah, there we go. Ship's gone. Ship's gone. I don't know if you got out though. That's so bad. Yeah, I can't see. Where was the? I don't he's see right it. outside Jim Town. Like he's literally right in front of Jim Town. Okay. Oh, Cygnus is on it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I have seen no marker. Yeah, there's nothing here. Uh, is there a body? Watch. I've not found one yet. Okay. Uh... All the while, we were still moving drugs. Again, we would have switched servers, but the situation here was interesting and we wanted to see it play out first. Uh, All you gotta do is just chuck them up, just get them out the door, basically. You just have to be accurate with them. Uh, he's very close. Ooh, okay. I just saw Two clicks. There. I've only got one, I've only got one rail going around. That's an idea. He's following Crimson right now. Crimson, oh. double back. And I can heal up to stall. Alright, shoot him! Hey, so this is going overhead. Damn! <laughs> 780,000 sold. Oh, wow! After another sale, we'd be going for one more. But this time, Misfortune would find both me and the crew of the Corsair. Zaylock is, uh, is somewhat yes. full. I was about to fall victim to one of the most annoying bugs at Jumptown. Oh no, I'm in the roof. Oh no. There will be a, there'll be a lot of yelling. Yeah. Oh my god, switch to What's wrong, Katie? You stuck? I'm in the roof. There's no, there is no escape from this. We've, we've seen it before. And while leaving and at high altitude, Blitzy's Corsair would be put into soft death by the attacker with all of the drugs on board. Yeah, soft death that Corsair. Yeah. You gotta open that door. I was done on the server given my predicament, but the recording from Blitzy was quite something. The soft death Corsair had in fact survived the crash landing and the drugs on board could actually be recovered. One of the very cool consequences of systems like soft death that were recently added to the game. We'd hit a few more servers, again seeking opportunities to practice our hijacking skills and some we'd get lucky, others not so much. But it was certainly fun to play Jump Town with a smaller team again, playing with a different rule set and getting some fresh experiences out of the event. I hope we could bring you more of this in the future along with all of the other activities that the Jackals get up to within the org. As always I want to thank all of you at home for watching and all of our amazing patrons who you can see on screen right now. Without these very generous people none of the videos on the channel would be possible and I am hugely grateful to all of you for helping me to keep the channel going. And in this video I would especially like to thank Audi76 and Hodgegoblin who both recently became backers over on Patreon. Thank you both for your very generous support, it is greatly appreciated and you guys are both awesome, thank you very much. We'll be back with more from Star Citizen very soon.